Just turn your phone things off. Like seven of them went off. Shame, shame. Like Game of Thrones, shame. If your phone goes off again during the thing, you were warned this time, so the rest of the crowd will be fine with me making fun of you personally. When that happens, I'm making fun of you as a group now. But when your phone goes off next time, I will find out whose it was. And if it's mine, that'll be a good joke at the time. But, all right, so we're moving on to Loesch, who's the 10-year-old de developer. And, and he's on strike, demanding more pay from the foundation. But he has decided to show up just for you guys at the hope of getting the black card. Also want it known that I got a raffle ticket just now uh, when I signed in. So if the MC wins the raffle, I'm just one of the people you heard Charlie's speech. There's no advantage. We didn't tape my ticket to the bottom. I asked them to, and they said no. That's how you win a raffle. That's how you rig a raffle. If you ever need to do that for your foundation at your school or something, if you're raising money, you tape it to the bottom, and then you put the hand, and you just go down all the way to the bottom, and you pull out your nephews, and there it is. That's from MASH, like a 1979 episode of MASH. You're welcome. All right. Ten-year-old Loesch, everybody, to tell you some technical jargon. Come on. Loesch on. He said to make up some funny stuff about him, so that's what he got. Hello? Okay. All right. Oh, thank you for the one. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't, don't, don't. Okay. All right. I'm Loshan. I work for the Litecoin Foundation as a software engineer. So I'm here to bore all you guys with all this technical stuff that I have prepared on my phone and on the slides and whatever else. Um, before I start the, the slides, I guess um, just something. Uh, as a software engineer, I was. I wasn't up gambling le last night, l unlike most of you guys. Uh, instead, I was just uh, alone in my room, crying to ChatGPT to help me generate these slides, because that's what my job is nowadays. It's just copying and pasting code and getting ChatGPT to do all the work for me. So that's what ch software developers do nowadays. All right. All right. So how many of you are in this room are new to Litecoin? Because I know some of you are new, right? All right, cool. Um, so, one sec, let's see. All right, what's Litecoin? So, I, I, in my opinion, the best way to explain Litecoin, it's basically a digital form of money. Um, it's money just like the US dollar is or the Brit British pound or whatever, um, but it also has different attributes from regular money. It has, um, it's, it's a scarce asset. So it's a bit more like gold and silver in that Litecoin is limited to only 84 million. Um, it's also a bit like cash in that transacting with Litecoin is fast, easy, and now there's some privacy and fungibility benefits. But that's only because of MWeb. Um, so how many people here don't know what MWeb is and is he are hearing about it for the first time? You don't? Some, some people don't, I think. Okay. All right. Oh, I missed that slide. <laughs> All right, what's MWeb? So MWeb is a solution that we worked on. Um, the one big thing with many cryptos, like Bitcoin, Litecoin, is that it lacks fungibility and privacy. Due to the way that Litecoin was designed, everything exists on a publicly available ledger. Uh, it's called the blockchain, and Anyone with enough technical ability can track and taint your coins. So, for example, if someone had previously before you had used these Litecoins to pay for drugs, do something illegal, these coins can be tainted, and exchanges might not accept these Litecoins because they, they are tainted, making them worthless. With MWeb, if, uh, with MWeb, this is no longer the case. So it's something we created. I don't want to get into the technical details, but it, it's a way of increasing privacy and fungibility. Oh, 
again, I forgot the slides. Uh, sorry about that. All right, I think one of the big things for me working on Litecoin is that I wanted to create a digital form of cash. Like, I want Litecoin to be as close as I can get it to cash as possible. Uh, and without MWeb, it wouldn't have been possible. But today, I'm here to speak about Nexus. All right. And yeah, that's the title that came up. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So Nexus is my, the team and I's uh, idea of how we can make Litecoin supported by more people. We can onboard more people to Litecoin and get people just using Litecoin in general. So Litecoin, uh, Nexus, is, Nexus Wallet is a Litecoin-focused wallet for mobile phones on Android and iPhones. It's designed by the, the cr creative geniuses at Square Black, um, and it's being built by the Litecoin Foundation by us. Um, if you're new to Litecoin and you just want something that works out the box without uh, confusing yourself with all these other cryptos or anything else, I think Nexus is the correct solution. So ma many people ask us, how, do they, how can you get into Litecoin? I think the best way now is, with, is through Nexus. So we, we plan to, hopefully what we've done is a user-friendly experience that is pleasant to use, so it ha doesn't have too many bugs and whatever else. And we, we get more and more people using Nexus and Litecoin together with it, right? So we've made it really simple for people to use. One of the biggest complaints that we've had with our previous wallets is when you, when you first open it up, it takes a long time to do something called syncing. It might take like 30 minutes, 60 minutes, who, who knows. But we've spent a lot of time making things a lot easier. And one of the examples is with onboarding, um, where syncing now takes like one to two minutes, depending on your, your internet speed. So it's like pretty seamless. It just happens in the background whilst you're creating your wallet. And we do it in like a privacy preser preserving way. Um, all right, after you've uh, first opened up uh, Nexus, you'll see the, the dashboard. Everything is there, the buy, sell, convert, send, sell, screens. It's all really, 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 really easy to use. Um, yeah, so buying and selling Litecoin um, is extremely easy. Again, we want people to use Litecoin. We want to give them the choice to, to use different payment methods, and different exchanges and gateways to accept Litecoin. So we've teamed up with OnRamper, who is a provider who finds the best rate for, I, I think they support over 130 different uh, payment methods with 30 different gateways or something like that. So you will always get the best rate for buying and selling your Litecoin. And we also now support with our increase in payment methods, we now support Latin American countries, African countries, and Asian countries much better because not all countries take credit and debit card payments for buying crypto. There's like, uh, it's just much easier through these different payment methods. Um, yeah, so we support OnRamper and MoonPay with Nexus. Uh, it's very bright. It's kind of hard to see. All right. All right, the next thing is sending with Nexus is really, really, really easy. Um, I, what can I say? You can always just scan with a QR code. You can copy paste an address, just like any other wallet. But you can also send to a .ltc domain. For example, if you're going to send coins to me, you can send to loshan.ltc, and the wallet will find my address, and it, you'll send coins to me. By the way, that's a real address, so once you've downloaded Nexus, please send me some tips. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, um, and most importantly, importantly, Nexus allows sending and receiving with MWeb. So I think, yeah, oh, thanks. So Nexus is, I think, the second mobile wallet that supports MWeb. Uh, but we've done a bunch of different things uh, that we hope makes us unique. Um, I think the best way to find out is to try the app yourself. 
uh, which I'll show in a bit on how to get. Um, but yeah. Uh, all right. And this is something that a lot of people have been waiting for, support for Flexa. So Flexa, if you don't know already, is a way of purchasing goods in retail stores like Barnes and & Nobles and Baskin Robbins. These are shops I, I've never been to, but exist in America. Um, but you can, but, uh, you can like, at the point of sale, you can scan this Flexa code and it converts your Litecoin to, uh, to be sp spendable at these locations. Uh, Flex is a really cool, unique uh, solution, and they're adding more and more stores. And I know there's been a lot of demand for Flex uh, in, with Litecoin, and it's it's native. It's just in the app. It's it's like a click of a button. Um, all right. Oh, can't go to this yet. Whoops. All right. Uh, so I I think one of the most important things. I don't really have a slide on this, um, but. One of the most important things that I wanted to get working is just everything being seamless. Just make it easy for people. Don't annoy people. My aim is to get as many people using Litecoin as possible, and that won't be possible if it's not user-friendly, if it's not simple, if it's not cheap, if it's buggy, whatever, uh, whatever else. So we, we really, 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 really tried hard to get everything working. And some of you might have been here in the previous Litecoin Summit in Vegas. And I announced this project a, a few years ago, I think now, maybe two years ago. I started working on it, then I stopped working on it, then I started working on it again. I was on and off or whatever. But it, it, this is something we've been cooking for a while, so um, I, I really hope you guys really enjoy trying to use it. And if, if you recommend your to your friends and family or whatever else uh, to get into Litecoin. I, I hope you guys recommend them to use Nexus because I, I think that Nexus is the best way to get onboarded into Litecoin. All right. So, uh, I, oh. yeah. all right. So, how can you get Nexus? Um, I guess just go to the website, nexuswallet.com, and there's links to download the website. Uh, sorry, the app. Um, we are currently having some issues with getting the app approved in the App Store, but you should still be able to try out the app. Um, as some of you may know, Apple and Google are kind of annoying when dealing with getting approved as a crypto app. Yeah. So we're suffering. I'm dealing with horrible, horrible rejection messages. I got a message last night at 3 a.m. saying the app got rejected for who knows, some, some crazy reason, I don't know. Um, but yeah, please visit the website, please try out the app. Hopefully everything works good. If you're having any issues, just feel hands. free to reach out to me. I'll be somewhere around here, maybe in the foundation booth or something. Um, oh yeah, one of the things is you, Nexus also uses a seed phrase, just like most other non-custodial wallets where you control your keys. And in your uh, bags, we've given away a Nexus seed phrase storage thing. So it's a piece of stainless steel which you can inscribe your seed words to keep safely keep them. So if your house burns down or your house gets flooded or whatever, um, it hopefully protects your seed phrase from being lost. Um, one of the things that I've been told, which I didn't realize when I was ordering these things, is that it comes with a scribe, a scribe pen which is apparently super sharp and super, like, I don't know. Apparently it's a weapon, like a deadly weapon. So uh, don't take it into your hand luggage if you're going back on a plane because you might get stopped and, uh, yeah, just be careful. I, I don't know what you're going to do. Uh, just buy a scribe when you get home and throw your scribe away. I don't, I don't know. Um, so good luck, guys, <laughs> getting back on a plane. All right, thank you. <laughs>